Let's go check the um, impound lot, see what our fee is. Just kind of keep up with it. It's been a quiet day on GTA. Yeah, I figured it has been. There's still some things I gotta like, kind of keep up with and check with. <sighs> My dog's gonna be a little needy tonight because of the fireworks. Oh, the impound lot moved. The building's still here though. Hmm. What's the building here for? Oi, oi, oi. Damn, the impound lot right in the middle of uh, drug selling country, man. This is gonna be rough. Right in the middle of the drug zone. Them. Yeah, don't you just don't you just enjoy that or you have to go around the back and look at him from the side hey, let's stare at his balls Yeah, don't you just enjoy our new shitty location <laughs> Right, oh, yeah, it's gonna be even better than that if you actually I, I know you're pull a car out But yeah, if you actually had to come out here to do a job, it's come down here do this shit your car your uh, your car's gonna come out right over there uh, Oh, it comes, out right, it comes right out comes out right in front of that little uh, double door right there. Yeah, what an odd So that's where all the cars come out. That's where our trucks are parked but oh. if you do an actual job, you have to pull the truck out from here, go get the car, drive to the old lot where we drop the cars off, back up in there, drive down here, and then drop the car here so you can fully impound the no car No way. Here. You have to do half of the impound there and half here? Yeah. <laughs> well, only, only for the first impound or if your head pops. Because if you don't, you won't. You, you know how, like, the very first tow, you can't just walk up to the cart and impound it on the spot. You have to do, like, all that shit. You have to do the same thing here. Did, uh, do you get a reason on why this place uh, moved over here? Like why it's here now? Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. quote unquote rumors is because it's too close to the little soul, which is complete and other crock of shit. If they mm. if they needed to remove something, they could have just removed the bennies. Yeah. I mean, there's probably a lot of things that can be adjusted. Uh, this was, yeah, yeah, there, there is because I, I was, I was so pissed off yesterday. I said, fuck it YOLO. And I emailed God. Oh, shit. I emailed God. Yeah. Oh, so uh, that's gonna take care of. All right. Well, yeah, he's like, he's, I'm like, yeah, this just completely fucking busted fix it. Yeah, I mean, if any, if nobody's giving feedback, then uh, you know, things are yeah, gonna improve. Well, so, yeah. that's the problem. I've been giving feedback for two fucking years. The last time I gave feedback, I gave it to uh, Tessa, because I remember when I did the whole strike shit. I gave it to Tessa, and she sent the uh, complaint to the government. The uh, government responded with, "We don't fucking care." <laughs> All right. Well, sometimes that happens. You know, yeah. sometimes their their uh, their needs are not the same needs of theirs. Yeah, it's like it's literally we do not care. Towing is literally the bottom of the fucking total pull. It is nothing to us. You care. know, honestly, I miss towing. Uh, I look now that I've had a, a long, you know, like period of time to kind of assess, you know, where things are now and things were. Hey, the past. When when it's I prefer not the fuck, old, it's good. I know, I still prefer the old method, you know, without the phone system. Oh, just, yeah, just no. Just putting your I, shit on I, the yellow pages and getting a call. That's that's what I told him. Yeah. I, I said, I said, all of us that have done this, I said, I am only one of five people left in the entire city that does this and actually does this. Everyone yeah. else just does this to yeah, pull cars out and that's it. Because of the, the new strike off. fees. Yeah, like Rami pulled a car out for like 180 grand. I got paid 7000 fucking dollars out of that. Yep. No, four thousand seven hundred and seventy-six dollars. I earned out of that, and then I pulled two more cars. I made twenty grand in like fucking ten minutes. It can get a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but now everyone's pulling their own shit out now. But I've, it's also because I've been telling people like I'm an idiot, just leave the car in here till the release day because it drops ten thousand dollars a day. That's. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just literally like, I. I that's yeah, why I'm here. I'm just checking my shit, seeing what it is. Because yeah, once your yeah, because once your shit hits the release date, it'll literally be the cheapest price, like like normal. Yeah, my so shit. So it, it literally drops like. And I was at 255 K we're down to 181. Yeah. How many days has it been in there? Like Good, see, 250 K five days. About, yeah. Four or five days. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 
weeks. So. Six, six, seven days. It's been there seven days. So if you're at 200, 180, okay, something like yeah, that, yeah, it's been yeah. six days, Man, seven days. My yeah. math, I don't, I, bro, I, don't, I don't even pay attention to what yeah. day it is anymore. Because um, I figured this it is New Year's, by so. looking at the prices and shit, yeah. So, uh, hey, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. It's been a good month, chat. Bye, guys. So I splurged a little bit uh, tonight. I ordered a little bit of fancy sushi. And I had it delivered. I just said, fuck it. If I'm not going out tonight, something bougie is coming to me. So I ordered a little bit of sushi. I mean, it's not that fancy, dude. It's just like fucking... Overpriced Americanized sushi. Not even sushi. It's like a... <laughs> it's literally like a California roll with spicy tuna and eel sauce on the top of the spicy tuna. And I think... A tiny bit of like spicy mayo. It's fat boy sushi. I usually get like the fresh shit, just just rice and fish. But tonight I was like, dude, I'm going full, full chub lord, full chub lord. If I'm not going out, something's coming to me. Yo, happy New Year's, guys! Thank you guys for coming through. Um, I know I haven't called out every single fucking one of you guys individually. But that's because I'm just sitting here like kind of just thinking about this entire year and uh, my brain is is off in space right now this has been a crazy year chat this has been a, a fucking insane year like my biggest goal whenever I set out to do this was just to have people in chat to hang out with and like have chat feel like a place where I can have conversations and shit you know I just didn't want a dead chat and, um, I don't know, we find ourselves here, you know, a couple years into this shit, and, like, dude, we have, like, a thriving little community over here, and it's fucking cool. I'm kind of geeked on it, man. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Kind of geeked on it. <sighs> you know how Raymond, uh, oh, Raymond's a chef? Uh, by the old farm <gasps> You know... That's actually, holiday is not a bad idea. But the thing is, the state owns that building right now after the court case. And I don't know if the state would sell the building. They might like try to put it up for auction, if anything, maybe to give other people a fair chance to get it. I don't know, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But Raymond doesn't have a record. And he is definitely someone who we trust it would be a good person to do something like that if we decided to do it. I'm trying to decide, bro. I don't have to grow today. I was, I'm actually glad. Chat, I woke up because I was like, mm, these seeds might be going bad. And while they're low, we still have like another day or two. So.